Working with email in Zendesk. Email is one of the eight channels your customers can use to communicate with your company. The basic configuration requires no setup. First, a customer sends an email to your default Zendesk address, support at your account name .zendesk.com. Let's say your account name is Lacuna. This address was automatically created when you opened your Zendesk account, and you don't need to do anything to make it work. Zendesk receives the email and turns it into a support ticket. When a support agent responds to the ticket, like so, your Zendesk sends an email back to the customer, which contains the entire history of the support interaction. And so the cycle goes. Email replies from the customer are added to the ticket, and agent comments are sent to the customer as emails until the issue is solved. And that's the basic setup. There are also ways to personalize the email channel. For instance, if you already receive support emails at your own address or you plan to, you can have Zendesk turn those emails into tickets. Go to the email settings page in your Zendesk. If you use Gmail or Google Apps, start here and Zendesk will walk you through it. If you don't use Google for email, just add your address here, then go to the controls for that email account and set up forwarding to your default Zendesk address, support at youraccount.zendesk.com. If you do set up multiple addresses, your customers will always get replies from whichever address they initially wrote to. If you don't have an existing support address but want to customize the default, Zendesk allows you to create as many addresses as you need using your account name. You can use whatever you want before the at symbol, sales, billing, xforce, as long as this part stays the same. Notice that whatever you put here changes what your customer sees when the email lands in their inbox. You get a little preview here. By default, emails will also feature the name of the agent who responded. To change that, uncheck the personalized email box and then your customers will just see that support address name. And finally, you can customize the look of the email by editing the HTML template. If you want help with that, there's a link to more resources. All right, those are the basics of working with email in Zendesk. There's more documentation in our knowledge base. And if you have any further questions, you can feel free to email us at support at zendesk.com. Zen Sorry, it's, I have to clean, I, sp I spilled.